if you're new, today we're going to be doing another wedding DIY. If you're interested in more wedding DIYs here on my channel, be sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming tutorials. In today's video, we're going to be making this acrylic guestbook wedding sign using this beautiful modern arched acrylic. If you're interested in making this sign for your wedding, just keep watching. This is only one part of the wedding DIY series here on my channel. Be sure to check out my other videos if you are interested in doing some DIYs for your wedding. All of the items that I'm using in today's video, including the fonts, will be linked in the description box. Fonts play a huge role in designing and are a great way to showcase your style or wedding theme. The fonts that I'm using today are available through Creative Fabrica. I actually have a monthly subscription with them that gives me unlimited access to all of their graphics and fonts. They have a ton of fonts and graphics to choose from. I do have a 30% discount link for you guys that I will leave down in the description box. This will get you 30% off your monthly subscription with Creative Fabrica. The first thing you'll need for this project is your acrylic piece. This is just an 8x10 arch. I will link down below the company that I ordered it from. This shape is kind of hard to find online, but you can find them on Etsy and then also from a plastics company as well. If you're looking just to do one sign, I would recommend going through Etsy because you can buy them one at a time that way. But if you are looking to do more than one, then you should definitely check out a plastics company. Like I said, I will link the company that I ordered this one from down below for you guys. You will also need some acrylic paint. Today I'm going to be using white. You will need some polycrylic to seal the back of the sign. You will also need some vinyl. Today I'm going to be using matte black. Some weeding tools. A soft scraper. You will also need a paintbrush. A cutting mat for the Cricut. And then I have this Cricut self-healing mat here. I like to use this to line up the acrylic whenever I'm placing the lettering onto the acrylic piece. It's really helpful that way. You also need some transfer tape. And of course, we will need our Cricut as well. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and go into our Cricut software and open up a new project. Here I just have the design that we're gonna be doing today. I also have the fonts here that we're gonna be using. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead to the Shapes button and we're gonna get the arch. Now we're gonna change the size to eight by 10. The way we're gonna do this is click this unlock button here, go up to the width and we're gonna make it eight and then the height is going to be 10. Now we wanna rotate this 180 degrees and then we're gonna change the color to white. So this is gonna represent our eight by 10 arch. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on the design. So first we're gonna start with the please sign our portion. The font used for this is called Loves. We are going to pull these letters together just a little bit. And now we're gonna do the curve here. We're gonna add the names to the bottom. We're gonna be using the same font. We're gonna make this smaller. Now we're gonna do the guest book portion. For this one, I used the font called Handita, and I typed these two words separately. Now we're gonna go ahead and get everything centered. So we're just gonna grab each of these pieces here and just go over to align and center horizontally, and that's gonna scoot everything right to where it needs to be. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach all of this because we wanted to cut in one piece. I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything else that I have here except for the words that I wanna cut. Next, you want to get your vinyl ready for your cutting machine, and then we'll send this over to the Cricut to cut. Since I'm using Oracle 651 vinyl, I'm gonna choose the premium vinyl setting. I have my paper trimmer here that I like to use to cut vinyl. You can measure it perfectly here, and then it cuts it really straight, so this is really handy. I will link it down below too. Now we're gonna go ahead and line up our vinyl onto the cutting mat. Now that we have our vinyl cut, we're going to go ahead and get the vinyl off of the cutting mat. I like to do this by flipping my mat over, that way the vinyl doesn't get all rolled up. Now we're going to go ahead and weed our vinyl. I like to use my Cricut knife to cut and separate the pieces so I'm not peeling it all at once. You don't have to do this step, but I do feel like it will help you in the weeding process. Just be sure not to cut any of the letters.
Now we're going to take our transfer tape and cut a piece just big enough to fit our design. And then we're going to use our squeegee to really adhere the vinyl to the transfer tape. I'm going to trim off the excess on the sides, that way it'll be a little bit easier to apply to the acrylic. The next step is to take our acrylic piece and peel off the protective layer. Every piece of acrylic comes with a protective layer on it that you'll want to just peel away. For this I'll just use my weeding tool, I'll use the sharp end to pick up the corner of the protective layer and just peel it away. Next we're going to grab our Cricut self-healing mat and we're going to line up our acrylic piece right where we want it to be. I'm actually going to trim around the words as close as I can, that way I can see the lines and I can line it up the way I want it to be. Okay, so now that I have this all trimmed, I'm going to go ahead and line it up here. I'm going to go a little bit less than an inch from the bottom and make sure that it's a little bit less than an inch from the top. Then I'm going to use these lines here to help me line everything up. I'm actually going to use the hinge method to apply this and I'll show you how to do that. What you do is you peel back a piece of this, holding it right where you want it to be. You can even tape this down if you want to. And then you're just going to cut off one side. And then just hinge this back down using your soft scraper. And then you'll pick this side up and peel that transfer tape off. Making sure that all the vinyl stays on the transfer tape. And then you're just going to use your squeegee to lay the words down. Next, you will just want to peel back that transfer tape. And there is our acrylic piece with the wording added. Our next step is to flip our sign over and paint the other side. For this sign, I'm going to fully paint the back. I could just have used white acrylic, but I didn't have any white acrylic arches. So if you just want to do white, you can just buy white acrylic. But for this, I'm just going to paint the back of it white. Because we're using white and it's such a light color, I do recommend doing two coats. So you'll just want to let this one fully dry and then go in and do a second coat right on top. Okay, so here is our sign with one coat of paint on it. We'll come back after this fully dries and put that second coat of paint. I love this design and the way this black and white looks together. Now that this is fully dried, we're going to go ahead and paint our second coat. You can get a very similar look without using a Cricut and just using a Sharpie oil-based pen. I did an in-depth step-by-step tutorial on how to hand letter on acrylic. If you want to check that video out, I will link it down below for you guys and in the cards. But if you don't have a Cricut and you are looking to do some wedding DIYs, this is a really easy way to do them. Alright you guys, it is now the next day. I let the sign dry overnight and now we're going to go ahead and paint the polyacrylic clear coat. This is going to help to seal the back of the sign, especially if your wedding is going to be outdoors. You definitely want to seal the back in case it does get wet at all. That way the paint would not chip off or drip off or anything like that. To apply the polyacrylic, we're going to use a foam brush. We're just going to paint one generous coat of this on the back of the sign. And here's our finished product. I just love the way this sign turned out. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you create a beautiful sign for your big day. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more wedding DIYs. I'll see you guys soon.